Welcome, here I am in the Para Community Hall where today we are talking about suspended floors and suspended floor systems more importantly. We have a fantastic pioneering product where it's going to blow your mind how versatile this is and how easy it is to use to suspend a floor or a floor covering, internal or external. And it is totally environmentally friendly. But I think you need to hear it from the techno guru uh, for our African market, Jonty. Hey, Jonty. That was easy. That was quick. Hey, <laughs> Barry. Alright, so we've got a miracle product here. I'm just going to grab one quickly. What is this? That is a rubber cradle. Yep. And more precisely, that's a green rubber cradle, which is the color we use for our paving cradle. Over here, we have our black rubber cradle, which is the standard acoustic cradle. It's the one that's more commonly used for most of the systems that we provide. And it's nothing more than a recycled car tire, which, dun, dun, dun. which gives us an acoustic rating or impact noise reduction of 28 decibels. So it meets international specifications for an acoustic flooring system. How do you use this? Barry, it is, uh, it, it's as easy as putting it down in terms of the required spacings, which yeah. will obviously be dependent on what floor covering you're using, what, what the finished floor surface so is like going to be. So like the spacing and yeah. how close they So are. depending yeah. on the size of your battens, depending on the thickness of your floor covering, the spacing of these cradles will differ. And we represent, represent an international company, so we are governed by the standards that are, that are applied in Europe and in America and in Australia and in Asia. Can we put some stuff together so we can we, see how it all we, works? We, we certainly can, and I think I think for this purpose, I'm going to start with my demo box. Okay. So if we can bring this in. We We're just it? working on our core muscles just to really get in touch with the floor. Straight, uh. <laughs> straight from here to a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the story is, this, this is our, our base system. You've got your rubber cradle on the, um, on the substrate. Into that rubber cradle, you will put in our plastic shims. These are little 5 mil shims, 2 mil shims. This is what we micro level the floor with. And we would pop those into the... Let's do your micro height adjustments. We would pop those into the actual cradles. I just want to point out, like, these have been really cleverly designed because, because of these little hooky bots. It actually, if there's any continual vibration, they're actually not going to slide out of place. It's going to hold the whole system together. De exactly that. Designed to fit into the cradles. Yeah. So made specifically for this purpose. That's brilliant. Once we've micro-leveled it, then we'll just drop our battens in. And I think the important thing about battens is you're not limited to just timber battens. You can obviously use aluminium battens, you can use uh, galvanized steel battens, you can use composite battens, depending on the purpose of the floor. Yeah. You're not limited in terms of the batten usage. Because at the moment I'm seeing that uh, the galvanized battens are really popular with external decking. Yeah. We, uh, we're seeing more and more decking contractors now yeah. use, uh, use either galvanized steel or aluminium for their joists. And that system, well, because I know like I'm running ahead of it, but like uh, where you just floating on a slab or on your like your roof deck where you got the waterproofing, this doesn't impact that at all. It's a totally floating system, exactly. which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and Barry, I think, I think on that note, in certainly in the Western Cape, the biggest demand for mm. the rubber cradle system has been for external decking applications, whether it's timber decking or cement paving blocks. The issue is because the system protects the waterproofing. Yeah. So, so contractors working with the system know that if they have a waterproofing issue, it's not going to be because something has been fixed to their waterproofing surface or their waterproof surface. I'm also just thinking that like uh, where you've got an internal system where maybe your substrate isn't uh, absolutely integrous, where you can actually float your floor directly on top of it. Um, yeah, this, this is designed so that in large, large buildings, apartment yeah. blocks, etc., they don't need to use screed. When they're working in Europe, they don't have the, the conditions which enable screeds to dry out rapidly. Yeah. So they actually delay the process of a building while subcontractors wait for screeds to get dry. This system goes directly onto the slab. And because of the ability to build a system up, do you want me to show the actual base packers and yeah, let's just get this, this aside, for the yeah. side of the time, okay? So, so we can work from from 50 millimeters 
all the way through to 300 millimeters. And we've got, uh, we call them base packers. That's a 30 mil base packer. That's a 10 mil base packer. It's a male female configuration. So to build this system up to the height that's required, all we literally do is plop them into each other. And we can build all the way to 300 mils. Once we've got to the height we want, we put our cradle on. And you can put all those and services in there. Actually and everything. Additional insulation and yep. any service you can imagine. It, it is in effect a raised floor up to about 300 mils. Which is almost where raised flooring starts because yep. they obviously go a lot higher. And from a cost effective point of view, it, it is, it's cheap. You know, re relative to a raised flooring system, a traditional raised flooring system. So we were talking off camera and uh, the cost, if you want to just be like equate rough where the costing is at, you know, equated to like two or three times uh, the, the cost of a quality floating uh, underlayment, but yet you get all of, these, all of these added benefits to it. So very much affordable versus a fixed batten system or a raised access system. Yeah. No, it, it, tr it truly is filling a niche in the market, both from a, a, an ease of use and a cost point of view. Fantastic, okay. Okay, back to, back to our system. So, so we've got the cradles down, we have put the micro, uh, the micro leveling shims in, We've put our battens in. We then put our floor covering on. Okay, and that would look like that. And then onto our battens, I put in this case just an engineered board as a, as a sample. This is going to be our finished floor, our finished floor covering. But what the system allows us to do is it allows us, once we've left the expansion gaps, to insulate it. So we are able to absolutely separate the flooring surface or the flooring system from the adjoining structure. And this is what assists in limiting the transfer of impact noise through a building. So, Absolutely fantastic, which is becoming a lot more important in our modern buildings. And everything is locally produced. So the material we use for insulating the flooring surface from the building is, is produced locally, readily available and cheap. Recycled car tires, which would have ended up in a skip, which is an international problem, to locally produced isolating foam, um, and then if you wanted to, you could also put batting between or whatever else between. We, we, we are having specified numerous different types of airborne noise yes. insulation materials so that that assists the floor in being both responsible for impact noise reduction as well as airborne noise reduction. And on top of that, the services obviously fit in. And one of the other ways of insulating and allowing for underfloor heating is the system provides for a insulating foam to be used as well as an underfloor heating system to be attached to that panel of foam and the system is designed to incorporate that as one it makes for a very very easy installation of an underfloor heating system so we've got this system for the internal and obviously you know you could glue you could nail um, there's a couple of different formats that could go on top of the battens you could put your baseboard on top of that and then your floating system or carpet on top of that but We've also got an external system. That's where it really gets exciting. We have a lot of external uh, entertainment space in uh, South African uh, residential homes. And I think this is, this is where we're really going to see a lot of movement. Okay, well, uh, Barry, the black cradle, or our standard uh, rubber cradle, would be used for a traditional decking installation. So if you were doing a timber deck or a composite deck, mm -hmm. you would be able to use that. But this system we're looking at here is specifically designed for external or external and internal paving, porcelain tiles, ceramic tiles. And there are a whole range of those products that are brought in structurally sound enough to be suspended on the system. Okay, so let's just so, work through that on how it works. How it works. Okay, well, it's, it's quite simple. You'd put your cradle down as you would the black one. You, you would micro level as yeah. you did per the standard uh, black rubber cradle. And then onto your batten once it's leveled, all you would do is, is drop what we're calling your top cross cradle. Yeah. And it's into these crosses or into the spaces between the crosses. You would that, lay the that tiles. You'd, that you'd lay your tiles. And then depending on the size of the tiles and the structural strength of the tiles, you would uh, design your design your substructure to to accommodate to suit, to yeah, suit to suit yeah and then there, there, there's no worries that because obviously this is a floating system it uh, the wind's not going to pick it up or something like that no uh, worldwide uh, that hasn't presented itself as an issue and what what we know is that the actual weight of the substructure the weight of the floor surface that goes on top mm. is enough okay to 
to successfully anchor, anchor yeah. whatever you know whatever system you're using whatever floor type you're using whatever deck you're using so no that that doesn't present itself as a problem and there we've got experience we've got case studies of of decks now suspended on top of buildings uh, subjected to all the wind forces you can ever imagine that that are not a problem whatsoever with the need worldwide to start uh, treating water as a scarce resource. Yeah. One of the advantages of this system, it enables, it enables you to build a tiled paving surface where the gaps are left so that all the water goes through those goes gaps. Through the gaps and it goes into a reticulating system enabling the water to be, to be used throughout the building, whether it's watering the gardens or going into the use of toilets, etc. So this system allows for that, it's designed Okay. For a modern world. For a modern world, yeah. It's, yeah. it's designed to enable people to, to design and use water articulation systems. That is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, taking products out of our landfill, recycled truck tires, um, that really, it's, it's a feel-good product. It's something that I personally align with quite strongly. We have been very fortunate in seeing a massive demand for the product. It's taken us two years to start spreading the, spreading the word, yep. but we, we clearly now are reaching a point where players out there are starting to see this as a viable option to what they're trying to achieve. So Jonti, for an architect who is excited about what they're seeing in this video and wants to get some more information, um, they can contact you via your email and your mobile number, which will all be linked below kind of thing. You have an international office that can also help with regards to the, the, the layout structure and specification of this product. Yeah, uh, Barry, this is registered in Europe and America, Australia, Asia as an acoustic flooring system. It meets all the international requirements for both acoustic and sports flooring systems. And we're governed by those standards. Yeah. So if a situation arises where I'm not able to provide the technical expertise. I have the backup of an international office distributing to 45 countries now that is able to provide me with everything I need. And, and in fact, a lot more. The, it's a big company and they've been in the construction game a long time. So they, they That is fantastic. So it's like a full, a full service on how to really make a difference on um, your job site. Yeah, very much so. John T, thank you so much. Barry, thank you I so really much. I really appreciate you uh, lying here on the middle of this community hall while we've got planes and work staff and all sorts happening around all around us. But um, guys, thank you very much. Stay tuned, hit the bell, subscribe. We need your support. Um, you know, if you want to join uh, the Plank Squad, members like ourselves who are going out there and really trying to make a difference within our uh, industry, you know, the more the merrier. We need to unite and focus on craftsmanship and great technology, great products. It is about stepping up and uh, delivering fantastic work that, you know, can be there tomorrow and the next day. And it's not about short-term uh, short gains. Very yeah, thank you very much and uh, keep doing what you're doing. It's adding value to the industry. Keep going, it's a fantastic service and uh, we'll support you wherever we can. Lovely, thank you. Now do I need to send you back to where you were? Please do. Okay, hang on, hold on tightly. Wow, that worked easier than I expected. Great product. Now if you excuse me, I'll send you to go.